Hey guys, it's Ryan Prosser here. We're out here at the Amplex Racing Shop. Last year we raced the Silver State 300 in my NA car and um, absolutely loved the course, so we decided might as well try it in the new truck. Amplex Racing gave me the opportunity to race a trophy truck and I was all in for it. Qualifying was at Prim. Our game plan coming in was we were just gonna take a rear start. After talking to the team, we decided might as well get some more seat time. Well, our goal with qualifying was to just go out there and you know keep all four tires on the ground. My plan was just to go out there, keep a fast pace, and keep the truck together. I was excited to see what we could do. Qualifying course has a lot of tight corners and jumps, something I'm familiar in the UTVs, never really done that track on a trophy truck, but um, went out there and gave it all she got. For it being my first time qualifying the trophy truck, I felt like I put a smooth lap in and I'm happy with my results. At the start line a couple minutes before we were taking off, our GPS wasn't working, our Lawrence, and we had to unplug the front facing GoPro and take that power away and plug it into our phone since we needed the navigation and it was more important. Um, unfortunately, our navigation wasn't working and I was navigating off of a phone and the lead nav actually worked pretty good and I'm surprised how well it worked. Ended up using lead nav off our phone for the whole entire race. Pulling up to the line, seeing all the big dogs around, I mean, I had some nerves and excitement going through my head and once that green flag dropped, all the thoughts went away and it was just racing from there. The start of the race went smooth for us, a lot of open sections. Try to keep as fast as a pace we can, but not get reckless. Through the forest area, I kind of overthought it, seeing videos and stuff. Our goal through the tree was definitely not to hit a tree. <laughs> Didn't rip off any fenders, so it's a good thing. Coming out of pit four, we were making our way through a tight wash section and ended up hitting a huge boulder, and it bent the bumper in so we couldn't turn the wheel. We had to back the truck up, pull the front bumper off, about 25 to 30 minutes of downtime. Our plan for the water crossing was like last year's, just not cause any electrical issues and just kind of creep through it. Coming up to the train bridge, since these trucks are so wide, I was worried about throwing off a tire off the side and dropping down a 10 foot drop. So we took it nice and easy over that bridge. My goal for the race was obviously to finish and complete all the 300 miles myself. Being able to get the truck across the finish line is always the goal. We were super happy with the results of the race and we came home with the seventh place. 
it's a win for everybody when you get that car to the finish. It'll be interesting to see how uh, Ryan progresses and, and increases his speed as we move forward with uh, the trophy truck. I want to thank my mom and dad and my co-dog Jeremy Merrill for stepping in and killing it on the navigation. Big shout out to Fusion for killing it on our pits. I'd like to thank uh, Amplex Racing and Ron Prosser and Ryan Prosser for uh, allowing me to jump in the truck and enjoy the Silver State 300.